most common motor disorder, in fact, for children. And when the kids grow up, they may have a tough time finding jobs, but that's where a Valley organization comes in. Anita Roman has more during National Cerebral Palsy Month. 38-year-old yeah. Christina Sanchez takes her job very seriously. I am a helper. Sanchez was hired as a certified caregiver at the Laura Dozier UCP facility in North Phoenix three months ago. World 2 me. It mean like the world to me. UCP of Central Arizona says the fact that Sanchez has cerebral palsy and uses a device to help her communicate did not hurt her chances of getting the job. Instead, it was a benefit, especially for the people she works with. Helps members with their numbers, helps members with their colors, helps members to recognize uh, different types of shapes. Um, we have some games that we kind of put together where it's kind of fun and it... Um, ask the member um, to find all of the red pieces or to find all of the uh, square shapes, to find all of the, the circle shapes. And she assists them with uh, helping them to find the shapes and putting them in the right cup. Helping others is what Sanchez's mom says gives her daughter purpose. She was getting depressed, um, kind of closed off more, felt like, you know, no one really wanted to take the time to help her. And um, so, again, UCP really stood up for her and uh, came through, and, and she's been a different person the last few months, you know, and just given that she's bouncing back to herself. According to UCP of Central Arizona, the latest jobs report indicates less than 40% of people with a disability are employed. Experts say inclusive hiring practices are essential for providing representation and meeting the needs of people with a disability, and Sanchez agrees. If you see a person that has a special needs, give them a chance. Sanchez is fairly independent, determined to make her own living, but also to make a difference and let others know they are capable of anything they set their minds to. Anita Roman, Fox 10 News. Well, Arizona's three public universities are prepared to raise tuition in the coming years.